in an eye best way. Now God had brought Daniel into the fable and goodwill of the chief of the eunuchs. Right? That's where we got our first two words from, favor and goodwill. And we said to ourselves, if God had given that to Daniel, then we too can tap into it, right? Because the word of God is written for our learning so that we too can work in the right path and avoid the wrong path, right? The first keynote we took from it was defining what favor is. I would say that is that which we receive from God or from God's dead, right? That causes an advantage for us, honor for us, preferential treatment and a differentiation. When I had to define what goodwill is, I would say goodwill is just God's will towards us, God's bosom, the heart of God, the will of God concerning us. We said it's the source, the attitude, or that from which favor flows out, right? Uh, to third key point, you know, we said God does not do things in small measure, but whatever God does, he does in glory measure, glory measure. And the word glory is the word weightiness, weightiness, weightiness. Glory is never in small measure. We, glory comes in weightiness. It's a God-sized thing that is called glory. Right, and we looked at it, uh, fourth note. We said that God does all things for His glory. God is so zealous, jealous about His glory. Right, so anything that God does, it's done in such a way as to show forth its glory. Right, and the fifth keynote we took down yesterday was that we said the sweet spot reading of our walk with God is having goodness and mercy in our lives. Right. God wants that our lives will be marked by goodness, mercy, grace, mercy, favor, goodwill. And that's the whole essence of Psalm 23, right? Psalm 23 is a, is a psalm of contentment, uh, a psalm of our relationship with God, a psalm of definition when there's a perfect match between the shepherd and the pasture. That is what it calls. And what it calls is that there's a flow of grace, there's a flow of mercy. There's a flow of favor. There's a flow of goodwill, right? So we want that to be define our lives. And that's the whole essence of what we've been looking at. Uh, today, I just want to go on further and ask ourselves, the Bible says that God brought Daniel into that place. God brought Daniel into the things we're talking about right now. The question is, what was it about Daniel that made God to bring him into that place? Was it just that God just chose suddenly, oh, I chose Daniel, right? Or was it something about Daniel that made God to cause that he would have favor and goodwill? So we need to know that. If you want to cultivate it, you want to be in control of ensuring that we walk in favor and goodwill, we need to understand how Daniel got it so that we can follow the same example to make it available in our own lives.